To say my haul for September was a little small is an understatement, but guys, the amount of money I spent on these books is not. If you guys want to find out what books are in this stack, stick around to find out. What is going on comic book fans? Welcome back to the channel and guys welcome back to another installment of my monthly haul videos. In today's video I'm going to be showing off all the books that I picked up outside of my pull list during the month of September because today is October 4th so we got to talk about all those amazing books that I picked up. There were six books and these books will include any ratio books any exclusive covers and any books that I could not pass up on eBay and two of those books actually helped me achieve one of my goals of 2023 which is super exciting because I haven't achieved too many of those goals just yet and there's only a few more months left in the year so this is pretty awesome but guys there are six books for me to show off to you guys and I spent about $270 on these six books so I'll let you guys know the price where I got these books and yeah and then we'll just show off these amazing covers because that's what pretty much all these are just amazing covers so let's go ahead and move this camera a little bit over here so I can turn on my second camera and I can show off these six books all right, guys, the first four books that I'm going to show you are pure cover lover buys. The cover art on these books are so freaking good, in my opinion. You guys might disagree, and if you do, let me know down in the comments below. But let's go ahead and show off these first four books. First up is Amazing Spider-Man issue number 32. This is the 1 in 25 Patrick Gleason cover. I absolutely love it. I'm a big Patrick Gleason fan, and I love the action in this, and the spears, and the webbing, and it's just all so freaking cool. And I really, really like it. It's a cool cover. And I believe I only spent like $7.99 on this cover. Maybe even $6.99. My comic shop had a great deal on this. And I couldn't pass it up. But this next cover is really freaking good. This is for Power Girl issue number one. Now this is the 616 Nathan Zerdy exclusive cover. Or 616 Comics, I should say. You can pick this up on their store currently right now. And I really like it. This is the trade dress version. It is his tattooed variant. But guys, the version is just so much better than the trade dress. It is so freaking good. Now, what you can see, there's more tattoos down here, and I believe on her stomach. And if you take some time and really go over this cover, you will see some really amazing tattoo art. It is such a cool cover. Now, this next book I picked up on eBay for a great deal. I made an offer, and they accepted it. So, it is for Red Sonia issue number one, or Invincible Red Sonia. I'll put it up on screen. I believe it's Immortal Red Sonia, actually. But this is the David Nakayama foil variant. Hopefully this is being picked up well on my secondary camera. I can't see what it's picking up right now, but this is an awesome foil. This is for issue number one. I don't know what cover it is. I believe it's an exclusive cover that you can only get through one shop. I'll put that information up on screen now, but this is a gorgeous cover and I only paid 16 bucks plus $4 shipping. So it was a total of $20 and I could not pass that up. It's just such a gorgeous cover and I could submit this in a submission in the future to CGC and probably get a 9.8 on this book. But do I want to? I don't know. Just yet. Because I'm putting together my next submission right now. And I got some bangers in there. And I don't know if this is going to fit in that. But guys, these next two books are absolute amazing covers and these helped me achieve one of my goals for 2023 and I'm so excited to show off these books. So I'm going to go ahead and put these down here so that way these can really take the show. So one of my goals for 2023 was to pick up some Dave Stevens cover art. Now, Dave Stevens has passed away. He's no longer creating art because, you know, he has passed away. And some of his cover art goes for, you know, a good amount of money. And this first book, I have been looking on eBay for a very long time. And I made an offer of $85 for this cover to someone and they accepted it. And I was absolutely shocked when they did. And this is Space Vixen's issue number 13 or 3d space fiction issue number 13 i forgot what the whole title is but guys just look at this art it is so freaking good this cover is so gorgeous and this book presents so freaking well now i did send this book to my friend magic pressing over on instagram to be cleaned and pressed and he did a fantastic job there were a lot of fingerprints on this and there was just like you know some overall dents that i thought my personal self could not get out and he did an amazing job. I really think we have a good chance of getting an 8.5 on this book. I got my fingers crossed because I would really like to have this 
<laughs> because I would really like this book to have a slightly higher grade than just an 8.0 or below so I'm really hoping for an 8.5 in this book. Now this next book is another Dave Stevens book. Now I thought I liked this Dave Stevens art the most because this is the book that I was chasing but the more I looked at this next book I really fell in love with the cover art. Now I spent a total of about $100 on this book because it was like $85 plus $15 shipping and I made an offer of the same thing on this book and he declined. But then I just offered a little bit more of 95, I believe, and the person accepted the offer for this book and it was 15 bucks shipping, so it was a total of $110. And this book is amazing. Planet Comics issue number one, and it is so freaking gorgeous. The only downside of this book compared to the 3D Space Vixens is that this book is not in as good of shape as 3D Space Vixens. There's some big uh, spine ticks over here and the um, there's some dents along the side over here. I just, I have a feeling we're not gonna get that 8.0 grade that I'm really, really hoping for when I submit this book to CGC. I have a feeling I'm gonna get it like a 7.5 or a 7.0. I'm really, really hoping for an 8.0. If I get an 8.0 and an 8.5, oh my God, I, my dreams would come true. I get these books up on the wall, I'm showing them off, oh, I would love it. I would love it, but I get a sneaking suspicion I'm gonna get a 7.5 in this book, and that's gonna be a little disappointing. I might resell it at that point and try to get a higher grade, but I really don't like spending over $100 on a single book that's not already graded, and I don't really like buying already graded books. I like buying them raw, and I like going through the whole process of pressing and cleaning and submitting and like getting your fingers crossed and your hopes up, and when you get the grade that you want, it is so amazing. But guys, those are all the books that I picked up during the month of September for a total of about $260 to $270. I don't know exactly what the math is. I didn't do it before I recorded this video because it's really not all that important. But guys, I spent $100 on each of these books and about $70 down there. And these covers are just so amazing. I love great cover art and I love collecting comics. And I also just love reading comics. I just love comics in general. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video. It's nice and short. And yeah, that's going to be the video for today. I'll be back tomorrow with my final order cut off speculation and recommendation show. And guys, if you enjoyed this video and you guys are not subscribed, what are you doing? Get yourself subscribed. Hit that bell for notifications and smash that like button. All right, guys, you guys have a fantastic day. Let me know what books you picked up during the month of September. That's off your pull list down in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.